All right, well, congratulations. We have made it to the data mine. You and Ooh. I and everyone else who are who are here have waited a ridiculously long time because they decided to do it after the maintenance. Yep. I completely forgot this data mine existed. Mm -hmm. But now we get to see what exactly Elwood is, and he is not what we thought he was. Oh boy. I thought precisely. was to an extent, but not quite what I was thinking. And he's actually nothing what we thought he would. Yeah, I uh, thought he was gonna I be said slow. I predictions that were on ballpark with this. No, no, you did it. You, you liar. Okay, here's the thing. I've seen the speed. I've seen he has higher defense than Res, but I haven't seen a beat this. That's a that's a lie. Why didn't I hear about that yesterday? I wasn't uh, here. Yeah, he wasn't here. <laughs> well, see, you didn't even exist I, yesterday, so therefore your opinions are all even worse. Right? Right. Okay. Right. So, at 156 BST, it totals into 37 HP, 36 attack, 34 speed, 33 defense, and 16 res. What the heck? Yeah. And to make things better, he has a res super bane. <laughs> <laughs> but and, on the other hand, he has mm -hmm. HP and attack super bane. Okay, that is very weird because mm -hmm. for, for Valentine Elliot, is he actually more res than defense? Because I, I know he's more HP than everything else by by far. No, I think he's balanced. He's balanced? Okay. So that's why this is really surprising because um, base Elliewood has higher res than defense. I believe mm -hmm. uh, Valentine Elliewood is more HP um, tanking and otherwise it's pretty balanced. This Elliewood is entirely different with higher defense than res. And it's not just that. Yeah. He's, he's, he's pretty quick at 34 speed. I didn't see that coming. And, and he hits hard. And he hits right. hard. 36. Wait, so at plus attack, right? Mm -hmm. 40 it's plus 4, right? So he goes to 40. And, and then, then his sword is... So he goes to 59. He hits 59 yep. attack at plus. Wow, it's like... It's like Ephraim. It's like... Uh, it's yeah, more, uh, one less attack than Harid. But his sword oh. isn't as good for himself anyways. Nope. Because it, it oh, literally all it does is just <laughs> 19 might. It is one of the most boring weapons I've ever seen. It can be nuts, but at the same time, it's not really helping him. I'm going to treat him like Caden. Really? Basically. Oh, yeah, yeah, as a support hero. Yeah. Yeah, he's more of a support hero, but he does carry his own weight. Yeah, he, he's, a, he's a specialist. I think I would use him to kill some green armors or green mages. Right. That's but, basically... Uh... Mm -hmm. Oh man, he cannot take any mage combat. Hard drive. Yeah, do not put him against a mage. Oh what yeah, is he, that now? He, 53 magic bulk. <laughs> Bro, shut up. Just give him Naga and he'll do fine. Just, just give him the fuck magic forward. and he'll tank Ryan. Easy, right? No. That's how it works, No, right? no. <laughs> no, that, is, that HP and reds. I think he might die in one shot, actually. He will die in one shot. He probably will. He actually give him will. blue tongue breaker <laughs> forehead. I just, oh. Yeah, just do that. If we can't use it. Don't worry about it. Okay. Just paint him green and then give it to him. Yeah. So we now know at plus attack he's at 40, and then of course his sword is 16, and his sword ability is plus 3 attack, so that's 59. And because he has death blow 4, it's actually 68? Yeah. No, 67. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, Elliewood has a pretty decent chance of like wiping out certain green heroes in one shot, and especially armor heroes. If he doubles on them, he should, he should win the battle relatively easily. Now, I didn't see this coming at all. I, I this still blows my mind. So, does this change your um, change what you guys think of him? I don't even know what I really Not thought. Really. I, really thought his kit Not, I don't think really, but he, he, he's <laughs> pretty usable on his own. Yeah. More, more so than I thought he was gonna be. Okay, so here's what it, it it tells me. He's still in my eyes a support hero with a specialist role, much in the same way as like Seth Titania who have TA weapons, but they are also um, tactics heroes, right? That's basically right. how I'm going to treat him. Um, of course, he's, he's better than them because he doesn't rely on TA and he can do more than that. But, you know, I I just didn't like the idea of him having 156 BST. Yeah, but... I, Isn't that lower than average? Yeah, huh? actually, I think it might be. Isn't it? I thought it was 157 on average. I, I mean, that's one point. I mean, yeah, but still a little surprising. I thought he was going to push the BSD barrier. I thought he was going to be the first Cav to be like 160. I, I don't expect this to be an update that would change cavalry architecture. You would have thought. <laughs> but because we you, really just got out of the arm and didn't do that. You know the problem then is 
Yeah. For allegiance battles, he's not ideal at all. No. I mean, uh, on his weeks. On his weeks, he'll be fine, but that's yeah. not consistent at all. No. Yeah. Like the general heroes I, I recommend are still Alm and Roy. That's it. He's, right. he's actually not a very good allegiance battle unit. I mean, if you're looking at buffing up a less useful triangle advantage killer, or if you want reposition on a three move cavalier. His only uh, purpose is to move my starter around. Yeah, <laughs> mobility is something that allegiance battles definitely could use, so there's that. But if it's not win season, you're going to have a little bit of a drop on your score. Mm -hmm. But keep in mind, him as a buffer is immense because as long as you enter the battle with a dragon or a beast hero, you get attack and defense plus six, right? Attack, yeah, it's attack and defense plus six. And mm -hmm. on, on the hero of the highest attack, and then the hero of the highest attack also gets bonus doubler. And he also comes with um, rally speed res plus. So in other words... Whoever he's buffing, if he just rallies that character, they get plus 48 stats in total. Plus 12 to everything. Yep. Which is insane. That is a pretty nasty kit. <laughs> right. So if you can run him in Legion's battles, he'll 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 whoever whoever he's working on, he'll he'll bring them to like this utmost insane point. Um, but that's about it. It's this is this is a character I would say for allegiance battles only on wind seasons and ether raids. That's all I see him as. Right. I mean, he'll still score decently, but I'd prefer if you just got Roy or Alm. Um, yeah. Try to go for them. I just want to pull one. I, I honestly... I might hmm? build Erica. Honestly, I kind of wish he had, like, more... He is more bulky, and maybe had less speed. He, at the end of the day, he's a support unit. I mean, speed bulk is bulk nevertheless, but yeah. It, it is, but I would have valued that. Uh, more res, a lot more res bulk actually. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know, spreading himself thin like that might not be a good idea. Yeah, that's also true. At, at least this, that's it's weird though. It's it's kind of weird. I really thought he was gonna be a lot higher defensively, and a lot slower. But all right. Yeah, I believe that the range was somewhere from like 27 to 34, from what I remember reading. No, from what I remember reading is that the mage he was attacking was from a certain chapter, and they looked into the chapter, and that mage had like 20 speed, and he wasn't doubling that mage. Oh. Or, or like 20 defense. Uh, or, or something. Okay, it was weird, because he should be doubling, is what people were saying. Yeah, I I haven't checked it myself, honestly. I was too busy. <laughs> Alright. But I just have some ballparks from my memory. Sure. Okay, the biggest thing is comparisons, and let's see how he compares to himself. Uh, to his original form? Sure. Yeah. Um, let me pull out Sword Cavaliers. So, compared to the original Ellie Wood, he has two less HP, remarkably, five more attack, four more speed, ten more defense, and then sixteen less res. <laughs> yeah. Two more, one more BST. One more BST. So, for that reason, I'm just like, okay, how much higher is his attack again? Sorry, just say it one more time. Uh, five. Five. Plus one if he has a super boon. Uh, it's, it is a difference, but considering Ellie would, it's actually not as big of a difference. Mm. Um, hmm. Alright, and how about towards other standard setters for, like, calves, like, you know, Sigurd? Uh... Uh, okay, I can do Sigurd, who has the highest BST. Mm -hmm. um, so Sigurd has four more HP, one less attack, two less speed, one more defense, and one more res. Wait. More BST, three more BST. Wait, that's actually really comparable. Yeah, it's pretty much just Sigurd is bulkier, but a little less offensive on both fronts. Okay. Okay, so Eliwood is... Yeah, in other words, what the entire point we were trying to set was that if you're going to use Eliwood for combat purposes mainly, you got alternatives. Yeah. I mean, Sigurd is not exactly very combat-oriented himself, but he still kind of is. Well, I, I would consider him that. Um, oh, yeah, last, it, last it's hero. mostly bulk, but yeah. Um, last hero, Ares. Because that's, Ares. that's free to play, okay. too. Yeah, that one's very free to play. So Ares has three more HP, same attack, uh, four less speed, same defense, and two more res. Oh my god, okay. There is no point in using Eliwood if you just want him to fight. That's, that's basically yeah. what I say. I mean, realistically, he has better attack. 
by just about anybody, but that's it. Yeah. But, I, again, like, the fact that you gotta pull him and he's a mystic hero and all that stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Uh, you're looking for an offensive unit. I mean, Deathblow 4 coming with this kid is fine, but you have other options. Mm -hmm. Now, the other thing I wanted to mention was um, his his potential completely just lies in the fact of building entire teams around him. Because you got, if you want to use this sword, if you want to use um, Arcadia... What was it? Salt? Vision of Arcadia. Vision of Ar Arcadia. If you want to use that, you really have to form a team around him. You gotta also keep in mind you gotta bring in one beast, which honestly I think is, is Caden because him and Caden will do immaculately in, in stacking buffs. Yeah, no kidding. And then you want, so I'm I'm looking at it from Ether raids, by the way, guys. So you so you you got you got Caden, you got Elliewood, instantly you got your Mystic hero. So that's three slots out of six, no, out of five. Yeah. And then you got two selections. So one is gonna be your main tanker, and then you got a you got a support hero or another hero that's buffing, like Corrin. Yeah. Ooh, okay, so I think that might be, like, the potential of Elliewood. If you make a team like that, you will literally stack up so many stats that you should just blow through everything. In fact, I think, like, even if you have color disadvantage, if you have, like, um... If you add, like, an additional, like, what? <laughs> um, 60, 72 stats? <laughs> It's uh, it's not gonna matter. Kidding. <laughs> All right, so that's the potential yeah. of Elliewood, and that's a setup I would do. Um, Caden, Elliewood, Mystic Hero, um, another choice of a support hero, maybe Corin, maybe Marth, maybe, and then and and then whoever your tanker is is basically how I would set it up. But yeah, it's it could be it could get pretty insane. Or you can yeah, her name's Erica. Oh, hmm? What? Oh yeah, Erica. the original Erica, because then she can use her allies' buffs as her own. Yep. My, well, it's gonna be hard to use original Erica because her attack is so low. I mean, yeah, there's also that. It's low, but I mean, you could also just do the cop out and say legendary. <laughs> You're Marth. getting so many stats. I think that's fine. Um, no, if you it, use legendary Marth. You can just use your own stats. The the only problem is like if there's a, another hero with more attack, which might happen. Okay. Yeah, you gotta really set it up like that. All right, we haven't talked about this, but the ultimate setup is is to have multiple heroes with the same attack. Therefore, he would just buff everybody. One thing I wasn't mulling over is you could do Valoria and Legendary Marth because they have fifty attack each. Mm -hmm. If Valoria transforms, so you can give Marth the ally support, so his fire emblem is instantaneous, and then you can have Valoria giving him because of the Valoria support. They both get their buffs from Vision of Arcadia and Bonus Doubler, and you go from there. Yep, okay, so that's, I think that's like the absolute potential. You either use an entire team with Elliewood as the core to buff, or you use Elliewood as the core, uh, absolute core buffer, and he buffs multiple heroes. Right. So this is a very interesting hero, mostly for the support aspect. The fighting aspect is, is it's kind of boring, because his sword doesn't do anything outside plus three attack <laughs> for himself fighting. Right. But the support aspect is immense. So yeah. Absolutely. The ultimate question is, is mm -hmm. anyone pulling? Well, I said I'd pull for you the moment she comes back. But so she's I'm green. Pull regardless. She is. Yeah. But I will split if I have to. Yeah. So you're going for red and green? Yeah. Alright. Oh. Even though blue's the strongest one, I think. <laughs> um, I don't think. Legendary Lucina, Soki, and Ephraim. Uh, Ephraim. Ephraim. Yeah. So uh, Selkie is the only one that I can actually use. The other two I already have. So yeah, red and green. All right. Chat is mostly saying no. I'm not surprised. I'm yeah. I'm gonna do my full circle summon, like I said, and that's it. Mm -hmm. Same here. Oh yeah. Keep Same in mind, oh. Legend of Zero comes back next month, and that is. Oh shoot. That is. And then that's another mythic plus Naga. Right. Right. So next month is actually. Uh, Higher setup. Um, what color? Oh, sorry, not what color. What blessing is next month for Mythic? Um, I don't know. It could be light. Yeah, the everyone's assuming light because we're now done filling out the rest of the blessings. You know, if it's light, it's actually not a good thing because I think most people will just still stay with air. 
I mean, yeah, you could stay with air, but thing is, it can be anybody. Oh, that's true. Oh, and then I feel bad for people with double airs. Yeah, because now you can actually, you're probably gonna have options. Mm -hmm. So, say it's like Milla or something, you get something really neat out of that. Oh yeah, yeah, if it's something like that. Anyways, I think that's that for Elliewood. Uh, it's it's pretty interesting, but I'm of the same opinion as everyone else. I'm not. I don't think I have the resources to build another team, so I won't. In other words, I won't. I won't be pulling. I'll do like one full circle, just because the first circle is just 15 orbs and it's an eight percent banner. Why not just run it? But that's about it. Right.